Okay, so there's a lot of things that a babysitter is supposed to do. Like, for example, take care of you, make sure you're feeling all right. But making sure that you take a shower and then showering with you is something that a babysitter shouldn't do. And honestly, we'll get more into it. But before that happens, make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do and honestly changes my life and the channel. But other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a really embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back when I was in grade eight. And in grade eight, I'm not gonna lie, I was a really stubborn kid. So stubborn to the point where my parents really did not like taking care of me and they ended up leaving me with a babysitter. Now, I knew this babysitter already. She's babysat for me before. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie to you, she was just some basic 17 year old that would just take care of me. And I remember one time she ended up coming over after my parents both had to go on a work trip together. And basically she ended up having to stay for three days. Now, I remember when she first came, she kind of just looked at me and shrugged but at the same time she was 17 so as a teenager i'm gonna be real with you i don't think teenagers should actually be babysitters like i feel like teenagers are not good babysitters at all because they're still hitting puberty and as a kid you're hitting puberty and two people hitting puberty together and going through really weird things together is not a good idea to make one of them in charge but going on though she was a lot older than me and she basically was supposed to babysit me so i remember when she first came in she just like i said looked at me and went to go on her phone and basically talk to all her friends as for me, well, the only thing I knew how to do back when I was in grade eight was to play video games. So I ended up going upstairs, playing on my Xbox 360, and just sat there playing games the entire time. Now, I remember throughout these three days, she would only check on me like once a day, and she would not feed me, she would not do anything, and to be honest, she acted like I wasn't even there half of the time. Like, for example, when I came downstairs to get like a granola bar or anything to eat, she would just look at me and just shrug and then just go back to being on her phone. It's actually mind-blowing how often people can stay on their phones for and how how long they can stay on their phones for because it is severely toxic now i remember it got to a point where it was on the third day and on the third day i remember she ended up basically like kind of started i guess getting worried about me and me i was just in my room yelling and swearing like you know a bunch of slurs at people on call of duty black ops 2 yeah i was one of those people and let's be real here back in 2014 things were a lot different with everyone being so well, i mean soft i guess and basically i remember as i was like yelling and stuff over the xbox microphone at people online out of nowhere i remember my babysitter ends up coming up the stairs and saying bro why are you being so loud like can't you be any louder i'm in the middle of a game still like just be quiet baba like you can't just be yelling all the time and i remember as she was yelling at me she ended up taking a big sniff of my room and she noticed how it was a mess in there like there were banana peels everywhere there were wrappers there were like mcdonald's cups because she got super lazy to make actual food so she ordered mcdonald's for me babysitter of the year eh, maybe i don't know mcdonald's is convincing but going on and she saw basically how my room was an absolute mess so i remember as i was playing games she ended up basically starting to clean my room and she was cleaning my room and kept yelling at me over and over and then i remember as one time she ended up walking past me and she took a big whiff of my head and she noticed that i smelled worse than the boys locker room i smelled terrible like it got to the point where i'm not gonna lie to you my hair was super greasy i was super disgusting and to be honest, like my hands, like they felt gross. Me at the time, since I was in grade eight, I didn't really care for my hygiene. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like it got to points where in my gaming life, I would even like just pee in a bottle. Like I've gotten to that point. If you haven't peed in a bottle, are you really a gamer? Anyways, going on with the story, I remember basically she noticed that I smelled really bad and she looked at me and said, Bubba, take a shower. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, Bubba, yeah, I can. I'm your babysitter. Now go take a shower. No, I don't want to. Bubba, I'm serious. This is not a joke go take a shower or I'll make you. What do you mean you'll make me? At that point, she ended up going downstairs and unplugging the internet. And at that point, I was mad. Like, I am not joking, guys. Like, I was so upset to the point where I remember I walked up to her and said, oh yeah, why don't you take a shower? You smell bad too, loser. And this is where the story gets really, really awkward. Because I remember me and her, what ends up happening is that she ends up grabbing my wrist and dragging me to the bathroom. She drags me to the bathroom. She ends up basically forcing me to hop into the shower. And I'm like, fine, I'll take a shower. But like I said earlier, I was a really stubborn kid. So what ended up happening was I ended up sitting down on my toilet and I basically started playing video games. I just sat down and started playing games on my phone. It's crazy on how many devices you can play video games on nowadays. I remember when I was playing games on my phone, she ended up like leaving for like 20 minutes. But when she came back, she ended up hearing through the door that I was just playing Angry Birds. And she got so upset to the point where she walks into the bathroom and says, that's it. That's it. You're taking a shower. I didn't know what she was going to do. Cause like what? She's just going to throw me in there naked. Like she's not 
not allowed to do that. And this babysitter ended up finding my weakness. My weakness to go into the shower. She ended up basically taking off all her clothes in front of me in the bathroom. And she ended up hopping into her shower herself and says, Bubba, this is the one time you get to go into the shower with a girl. Decide if you want to go into it now or later. And at that moment, I'm not going to lie to you. I was convinced. I ended up basically taking off my clothes and also going into the shower. And basically, she ended up taking a shower with me. It's crazy how much fun we were having. Like, it's really cool to like have someone to like rub your back and like, you know, reach the spots that you can never reach and also do a bunch of other things. Cause yes, we ended up doing the devil's tango because she noticed how I got bricked. Yeah. My eggplant got bricked. It's no surprise, but going on, I remember we were in there for like more than an hour and we were wasting a lot of water. But since it was the third day, my parents ended up coming home that day and they came home pretty early when me and her were in the shower still. And this is where the story gets really, really embarrassing because right as me and her get out of the shower, put on our towels and start heading towards my room to get our clothes on, my parents saw me and her come out of the bathroom with the towels on and uh yeah let's just say she got a big talking to now i'm not gonna lie showering with someone was a really good experience but showering with your babysitter maybe was not the smartest thing i ever did i remember as i was in the shower out of nowhere i ended up seeing my babysitter walk into the bathroom and she says to me i'm gonna sit on the toilet and make sure you wash yourself right and i'm staring at her with nothing on thinking what is this babysitter doing yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing story so this story all takes place in my grade nine year and i'm not gonna lie in grade nine i was not a smart kid nor was i a genius i'm not gonna lie i wasn't like jimmy neutron but one thing's for sure i had my priorities straight i had a certain way of living that i basically wanted for myself in grade nine and yes it was to focus on women and doing the duvel's tango and study the arts of how to woo a woman but not only that another thing i really cared about was video games and playing video games was my strong suit to be honest growing up the only escape i had from this reality of well pain and misery which sounds really depressing but in reality it wasn't that bad but my greatest escape was playing video games and i remember in my grade nine year i would play video games up to like eight to twelve hours a day and to be honest i was such a perfectionist back when i was younger that when i would play a video game i would always try to 100 it like have you guys ever seen someone 100 a video game it is literally impossible sometimes and it takes a lot of hours to get into actually if you guys have ever 100 a video game comment down below because i'm actually curious but going on with the story i remember one time in my grade nine year i was coming home from school and i was excited to just do my daily routine of just going into my room and playing video games. But then out of nowhere, I remember as I was walking through my front door, my mom ended up coming out. She came out with a luggage and she said to me, oh, Bubba, I'm going to be leaving for a bit for a couple days to go visit your dad. So you're going to be home alone, but I hired a babysitter. I hope you're okay with that. At that moment, I didn't really care because I'm like, okay, just another babysitter. It's whatever. And I ended up basically going inside and not even saying bye to her since I was always upset since they always went on vacations. But at the same time, it is what it is. Going on though, I went straight into my room, sat down on my desk, and started, you know, gaming and going on my computer and watching videos about how to beat this game that I got. And then out of nowhere, I ended up hearing a knock on the door. Now, at this point, I knew it was the babysitter since no one else was home. And I went downstairs and opened the door for the babysitter. When I saw her, she was a cute girl with glasses. And she looked at me and said, oh, hey, you must be Bubba, right? Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. Uh, this is your house, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know why I would be in it if it wasn't my house. She started giggling when I said that. And I remember instantly at that moment, she started walking around my house as if she was an inspector. She started walking around saying things like oh like are the couches supposed to be in this angle oh did you guys not do your towels today like where are the towels in the kitchen but oh, can you show me where the tissues are and where everything's supposed to be properly and every time she would go into a different room she had always something else to complain about now when it comes to video games i'm a perfectionist but in real life i didn't really care where things were but this babysitter clearly did and i'm not joking the first two hours of her being in my house she just kept moving things and even got to the point where she rearranged the living room to make sure that every Every couch was angled correctly towards the TV. I remember I found this super weird and honestly, she started to remind me more and more of Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory if Sheldon was a babysitter. But going on with the story, I remember I decided to basically leave her alone and let her do her own thing. I remember I went straight back upstairs, started playing my video game and basically ignored her and did my own thing. But out of nowhere, as I'm playing my game, she ends up coming into my room and she saw that my room was a mess. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, I didn't do my laundry and yes, maybe I had a pair of dirty underwear in the corner of my room okay but at the same time for a babysitter to just walk in without knocking and start rearranging everything is weird like yeah if it was my mom sure i wouldn't complain because it's my mom right but for a babysitter to do it now that's a little out of pocket she started basically going through my closet reorganizing it and on top of that she started reorganizing basically everything i remember i turned around and i ended up looking at her saying yo you know you don't
don't have to do that, right? Like, it's none of your business for what happens in my room. Bubba, you need to organize your room. Like, seriously? Like, what are you, a pig? When she made that comment, I remember I was super annoyed. And I just ended up turning around and ignoring her. And she just ended up shrugging her shoulders and getting back to work. Honestly, I didn't know what to say to this babysitter. I didn't know if I should yell at her, be mad at her, or even just tattletale on her. But at the same time, how am I going to complain to my mom that the babysitter was cleaning the house? Like, there's no way she would take that as a bad thing, right? And I want to say 10 minutes went by and she ended up going downstairs to the kitchen and start making food. Now, usually when babysitters make me dinner, it's usually some grilled cheese sandwich or mac and cheese or something really simple to make that usually takes like, what, 10 minutes to cook? But this babysitter, she was a perfectionist, like I said earlier. So I remember when she said, Bubba, it's time to come down for food. Hurry up. It's going to get cold. I ended up pausing my video game, went downstairs, and I was expecting something small and nothing crazy. But when I actually sat down on my kitchen table, I am not joking. I saw a really nice pasta. It was like fettuccine, Alfredo with mushrooms. Like she made an amazing dish. And I'm not joking. Like this thing looked like it was straight out of a restaurant. I didn't even know my mom had the ingredients to make something this insane in the kitchen. I remember I looked at her and I started eating the food and I was amazed. Like this babysitter can cook. So I ate her food and I finished it literally as fast as possible because I obviously wanted to go back to my video game. But at the same time, it was so good. And I looked at her and thanked her for the meal. And she said, oh, no problem. I'm happy you enjoyed it. And right as I turn around and start heading upstairs, I remember she looks at me and says, wait, are you just going to go back upstairs and play your dumb video game? Uh, it's actually not a dumb video game. Okay. It's a game that I actually enjoy. And second, yeah, I have nothing else to do. I finished all my homework. Well, I mean, you do kind of smell, so you could go take a shower. How about that? Okay. You know what? Sure. I'll go take a shower. I remember I ended up getting upstairs and I went to my bathroom and I ended up taking a shower, but I'm not joking. As I'm in the shower, washing my balls out of nowhere, this babysitter ends up coming into the bathroom and she looks at me saying, oh, Bubba, here, let me sit on the toilet. Let me make sure you do this right. And I look at her thinking, what are you doing? She ends up sitting down and she starts reorganizing my bathroom as I'm literally in the bathroom taking a shower. And I'm just looking at her thinking, yo, like, is this normal for a babysitter to do? And that's not even the worst part because after she finished reorganizing the bathroom, she ends up sitting back down on her toilet seat and she said, oh, make sure you wash your back. Here, do you want me to help you? No, I don't need your help. But by the time I said that, she ended up actually taking off her clothing and she ended up actually hopping into the shower with me just to wash my back. Like, bro, what in the world was going on? Obviously, one thing led to another, though. Since I saw her with nothing on in the shower with me, I ended up getting bricked. And while one thing led to another, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, she noticed I was bricked and started giggling. No, me and her, we did not do the devil's tango. Obviously, because she was like in her 30s, I think, and I was only like, what, 14, turning 15, maybe? But I will say this, I did not know what to think or feel at that moment. I felt kind of violated, but at the same time, bricked up. I, I don't really know. But after the shower, I remember I ended up getting my towel on and I ran straight to my bedroom and I got my clothes on as fast as I could. I didn't know if I should tell my parents about what happened, but at the same time, are they really gonna believe me if I told them what happened? Because this babysitter literally cleaned the entire house and made everything perfect since she was a perfectionist. So I ended up deciding not to say anything and I sat back down on my PC and I started playing video games again. But as I was playing video games, I remember the babysitter ends up walking into my bedroom with a towel on and she looks at me saying, are you seriously gonna go back to playing that video game? Okay, serious question. Have you ever actually played video games? Well, no, I don't see a reason for them. I feel like they're like a time waste. Well, for me, they aren't. And actually, to be honest, I think you might be good at video games. Have you ever thought of maybe trying it? At that moment, I remember she ended up sitting down beside me and me and her, we actually ended up playing the video game that I was trying to beat 100%. And since this babysitter was a perfectionist, she ended up getting more addicted to the game than I was. And while one thing led to another, she ended up being my gaming partner and my babysitter. And me and her, we ended up playing video games till like four in the morning until the next day when out of nowhere, my parents ended up coming home. And me and this babysitter, we didn't realize we stayed up all night playing this game, but we did finish it hundred percent. So that was cool. As for my parents, well, they were upset that me and the babysitter stayed up all night playing video games. And well, that babysitter was never hired again. Honestly, don't get me wrong. I found it really weird that she watched me in the shower and stuff, but she was a cool gaming partner to hang out with. And you guys got to tell me honestly, can you guys take a shower with the babysitter watching you? Cause if not, then fall for more embarrassing stories, just like this one. Peace out guys. And when I went downstairs, I remember I saw my babysitter wasted on my couch saying, Oh, Bubba, you're down here. Come cuddle with me for a little bit, please. I feel lonely. And I did not know what to do. And I wanted to get out of there super badly. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba. And welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So this story takes place back in my grade 10 year. And I remember in my grade 10 year, I wasn't the smartest kid. But I will say this, I definitely was super naughty. Meaning that I would always do the duvels tango. And I would basically focus 
focus on anything but my actual schooling or anything that was actually supposed to be important in my life. I'm not going to lie to you. To this day, I still regret doing those types of things. And that's probably why I tell the stories of them because I'm really embarrassed of them. But I remember one time my grade 10 year out of nowhere, I ended up driving home one day. And when I got home with my car, I ended up seeing that my parents were ready to talk to me about something. I remember both my parents, they ended up bringing me to the kitchen and we sat down in the dining room and they said, Bubba, I looked at your school papers. It's pretty clear to me that you're not doing good in school. What's the reason for this? Uh, I just been distracted with other stuff, dad. I, I don't really know. Bubba, you're failing school. This is a big deal. Like, how are you supposed to leave this weekend and you not focus on school and failing? I I'll be fine. I'll focus this weekend. I promise. 100% you will be focusing this weekend because I also got a babysitter for this weekend for you. Wait, what? At this moment, I was super annoyed because I realized that my parents hired a babysitter to take care of me, even though I was in grade 10. And just a reminder, when you're in grade 10, you're like, what, 15 turning 16? So having a babysitter at that age is super embarrassing. Obviously, I kept begging my parents not for them to get me a babysitter, but they wouldn't listen and they wanted me to pay attention to school. So they ended up getting this babysitter. So knowing this, I was super upset and I went upstairs to my room and I was just basically like annoyed. And I ended up texting all my friends about how I was not able to go out this weekend or do anything because, well, I was going to be basically imprisoned in my own home. Like I would understand if I was in middle school, but being in grade 10, like seriously, a babysitter. So I ended up just getting really upset and just kind of having those rage moments in my room where I would just end up punching my pillow. But then out of nowhere, I remember I ended up hearing a knock on the door and my parents welcoming in the new babysitter. At that moment, I ended up going downstairs and I saw it was just some basic 22 year old lady that was just waiting to take care of some child. But when I came down the stairs to introduce myself, the babysitter looks at me as if I was weird. And she said to me, wait, so I'm taking care of you today? Yeah, my parents don't trust me. They're just being weird. No, we're not being weird. Actually, he's not focusing in school. So we need you to make sure he focuses on school. You understand? Oh yeah, I'll make sure he focuses on school. Okay, perfect. Okay, Bubba, me and your mom are leaving. At that moment, my babysitter ended up staring at me as my parents left. And we just stood there awkwardly, not knowing what to say to each other. And then randomly after like 30 seconds of silence, she looks at me and says, so you're not doing good in school, huh? Do you need any help with school? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay, good. Cause I'm not going to lie to you. I was terrible in school. Um, okay. And at that moment, I ended up just going upstairs and just playing video games and actually not doing my schoolwork. But this babysitter really just did not seem to care. And she ended up just going on my couch and just sitting down and doing her own thing. And I remember after 15 minutes, I remember out of nowhere, I ended up taking off my headphones because I thought someone was at my front door. And when I went to my staircase, I ended up seeing that my babysitter was answering the front door. But the only thing that was at the front door was a bag. It was just a bag that was like the size of a duffel bag. And she ends up picking it up and bringing it inside the house. And she saw me on the top of the stairwell and said, oh, uh, sorry, I told my mom to bring me some clothes. I totally forgot them back at my place. Sorry about that. Uh, no, it's all good is what I told her. And at that moment, I ended up basically going back into my room. Now, I found it weird because she already had a backpack with her when she first came. So getting another bag of clothes, like how long was this girl planning on staying here for? Something wasn't adding up clearly. But I remember two hours went by and it was basically time for dinner. So what I decided to do is go downstairs and look at the babysitter and see what she was up to and see what was for dinner. But as I went into the living room, I saw she was just sitting there and she instantly hid something inside the duffel bag. Once I appeared out of the corner, she looked at me and said, oh, sorry, I was just um doing something. What's up? What do you need? Uh, I was just wondering, what are we having for dinner? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you want me to like order a pizza? Uh, yeah, that'll be cool. I'm down. Okay, well, just give me like 20 minutes and I'll just order a pizza and get everything set up. Uh, okay, cool. At that moment, I ended up going back upstairs and I ended up just playing video games once again because, well, there was nothing else to do since I was imprisoned in my own home thanks to my parents. But I mean, how bad could it be since we were getting pizza? At least so I thought because what ends up happening next, I gotta say, was really bizarre because I remember after like 20 minutes, I ended up going back downstairs and I saw that my babysitter was at the front door waiting for the pizza. But when I went downstairs to go talk to her, I remember I looked at her in the eyes and something seemed really off with her. Like, it's like her awareness just ended up disappearing. One minute, she was super aware when I came around the corner, but the next, she doesn't even seem like she knows what's left and right. I remember I looked at her and said, hey, like, is everything good? Oh, yeah, Baba, don't worry. I'm just waiting for the pizza. Okay, well, when did they say they'll be coming? Oh, they said they'll be coming in like, I don't know, like another five minutes. When did they say that? Oh, like 20 minutes ago. Okay, well, if you want, you can go sit down. Are you not feeling well? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Baba. And at that moment, I ended up grabbing her by the hand and just taking her to the couch. And I basically told her just to sit down and relax and I'll get the pizza myself. I remember another 45 minutes went by and me, I'm just sitting on this couch, staring at this babysitter, tripping out. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to let her do her own thing. And if things get worse, I'll call a doctor. AKA my plan was to actually just call 911 because I didn't know what else to do. But one thing led to another. I remember finally the door ended up ringing and I ended up basically going up to my front door and I ended up seeing it was the pizza guy. I ended up basically asking my babysitter for the money and she ended up just throwing her wallet at me. And I walked up to the door guy and I ended up saying, hey, uh, yeah, here's the money. Oh, okay, thanks. And he ended up leaving. At that 
that moment, I ended up bringing the pizza to the living room, and me and her, we started eating, but when we started eating, I am not joking, this babysitter was munching on this food as if it was her last dinner on death row. Like, she was just eating it as if she was never eaten food before in her life. I remember I looked at her and said, hey, so... You're still feeling well, right? Yeah, Bubba, don't worry about me. I'm fine. It's just this food is so good. Okay, well, I'm going to go back upstairs. So I ended up getting like three slices of pizza, going upstairs and just playing video games again. But then I remember after like an hour went by, I ended up getting really worried because clearly I knew something was off with this babysitter, but I didn't know what. So what I decided to do was go back downstairs and I ended up basically going into the living room and seeing what my babysitter was up to. When I saw her though, I am not joking. Things went for the worst because I saw her in the living room and she looks over at me saying, oh, Oh, Bubba, you're here. Bubba, come here. I want to cuddle. I'm feeling really lonely. You want to what is what I said? And then she ended up basically standing up, walking up to me and grabbed me and said, I want to cuddle. Come here. And then me and her, we ended up going to the couch and we started cuddling on the couch together. I was cuddling my babysitter. At this moment, I didn't know what was going on, but she was holding on to me tighter than ever as if she lost a loved one. I ended up asking her if everything was okay, but she just wouldn't ever give me a clear answer until I ended up looking to the side of the couch and I saw her duffel bag was like a little bit slightly open and when i reached my hand over to see what was inside i realized it was full of alcohol my babysitter was wasted and i didn't even know about it at this moment i didn't know what to do but at least i knew what was going on so i looked over at her and said hey listen you're not feeling well and i can tell you drank so i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna let you just pass out for the night i won't say anything to my parents but you just need to calm down okay oh baba don't tell anyone don't worry i'll be fine uh okay and i ended up going upstairs to my bedroom and just pretended nothing was going on but then out of nowhere i want to say it was like two in the morning i was still awake playing video games and then afterwards i ended up hearing from my door that someone was yelling in my house i didn't know what was going on so i ended up going downstairs to see what was happening and i saw my babysitter was on the phone with her ex-boyfriend and they were just screaming at each other left and right at this moment i kind of realized why she was drinking and it was because apparently her boyfriend cheated on her and stuff but when i went downstairs i ended up just grabbing the phone and I ended up hanging up saying you need to stop like seriously you need to calm down my opinion, just lay down and get some rest, okay? Baba, I can't sleep by myself. Can I just sleep with you? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Baba, please, it'll be fine. At that moment, I remember this babysitter ended up hopping onto my back as if I was giving her a piggyback ride, and I ended up taking her upstairs to my bedroom, and she basically ended up passing out on my bed. No, I did not do the devil's tango with her, by the way, because obviously she was wasted. I would never do it with someone that was not aware of what was going on. And well, one thing led to another. It was getting super late. I ended up going downstairs and passing out on the couch and the next morning i remember at like 2 p.m my babysitter ended up coming downstairs and she saw me pass down the couch and she walked up to me and ended up giving me a kiss on the cheek saying thank you and left the place like she was supposed to be there for three days by the way but she literally ended up staying only one day and ended up leaving me kind of rude of the babysitter and honestly kind of insane how she did that but hey what can i say i guess she had her own problems and since the babysitter was gone as well like <laughs> i can go do whatever i want so i saw it as more of a win-win scenario but if you guys thought this babysitter was insane then my opinion fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys